right here. This is my savory stuffing. This is a half roll of sage sausage cooked and the giblets from the turkey diced up. These are two different kinds of croutons. This is a regular crouton and this is a Texas toast crouton. Let's make sure that the meat's broken up. Okay, and this is, let me see. This is four cups of the vegetables I cooked in the uh, water butter with the herbs, which are salt, pepper, sage, thyme, parsley, and some Italian seasoning. That was, in this there was about a tablespoon of each. <clears throat> and a celery, onion, carrots, lots of sage. You gotta have sage. This is stuffing. Okay. And I use Nature's Best hand tools. Try not to add too much liquid at first. I did that last with the um, dried fruit and, and apples and nuts stuffing. I made it too liquidy. Had to add more croutons. Okay. This is going to need a little bit more, but before I do that, I'm going to add my egg. This is just one egg scrambled up. It's a binder, it holds everything together. And I will need a little bit more liquid just to uh, make sure that the croutons are nice and moist. Gradually, because you can always add more, but you can't take it out. And you definitely do not want it soggy like I had the last batch at first, but I had to even it out with more crouton. Okay, let me see. I think that should be enough. I don't want it to be soggy. And this is what it should look like. You see the meat, the giblets, and the vegetables, and the croutons. Okay. Now we add it to the uh, casserole dish here. Um, the meat in here is already cooked, so you don't have to worry about the meat cooking. The vegetables and the meat are cooked. Um, you just have to cook it for about an hour, covered um, with foil. But you need air in here so the egg can get cooked. So just take your fingers and make little holes in there so that air can get in there so the egg can cook. Definitely don't want to serve anybody raw egg. Okay, and then uh, if you're... Who likes it a little bit cr crusty on top, crunchy, just take the foil off and put it back in the oven at 425 for about 10 minutes. That's it. That's your stuffing.